One of the problems with police chases being filmed by news helicopters and broadcast to the public is it gives people funny ideas. People watch these pursuits from the comfort of their own home and think they can mimic the high-speed tactic of highly trained police drivers. This chase from New Jersey is a good example. The driver of this car has obviously seen police perform the pit manoeuvre before because he's decided he's going to help police by attempting a highly dangerous move on the suspect's car. Look at that, oh no! An SUV tried to stop this thing. While he slows the chase down, he makes a complete hash of the pit manoeuvre itself, which is supposed to put the car into a spin and bring it to a controlled stop. Instead, he pretty much endangers everyone else on the road. So the police decide to show him how it's done. Except they make a complete mess of it as well. Trying to bring it to an end and he's not, he's not stopping. And he's going to pit him right here in the fast lane of the northbound 5 freeway. And, that's exact, and he's still trying to get away. With all this pitting failing to bring the chase to a halt, the cops now decide to try out some freestyle moves on the suspect. Freestyling. That is not like any pit maneuver I've ever seen. And their initiative seems to work. They were ramming this car. Very dangerous. But what's really impressive is the cops carried out their improvised tactics with complete disregard for everyone else on the road. And while that was going on, was that there were other vehicles that were on the freeway. Uh, you can see at the bottom of your picture, folks still driving by here. But all that public safety pales into insignificance when it comes down to catching crooks. And as always in America, the end justifies the means. Oh. <sighs>